Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Theodore here and today we're going to be doing something really exciting and uh, it's kind of like the usual stuff that I do but this is called the Bodak Bokkamyeon Jampong or Jajangmyeon 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 You know the black bean noodle? Okay, anyways, I got this on Amazon like <clears throat> two days ago and I bought it in a pair, and a pair like this was like $11, which is crazy expensive, but I couldn't find it anywhere else. So, I bought it on Amazon. I know, I'm crazy. But, um, yeah, it comes in a pair like this, and it is very packed, guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like, it's like really puffy. Whoa. I hope my ramen didn't break. Okay, so that's one of them, okay? Today we're gonna be trying the Samyang Bodak Bokkamyeon Jajangmyeon. And if you guys are not familiar with Jajangmyeon, Jajangmyeon is basically like black bean noodle. Um, you eat it with like pickled radish and you can also eat it with tongsuyuk sometimes. But um, because this is instant ramen, I, I really have nothing like that around, so I'm just gonna be eating it by itself. But I have tried the Nongshim Chapagetti before, and to be honest with you, Chapagetti really doesn't taste like anything to me. I don't know why that is, but um, a lot of people seem to like Chapagetti, but me personally, I don't really like Chapagetti, so yeah. Uh, hopefully this one does not disappoint. Um, all the instructions is in Korean, so. Wish me good luck, okay? Uh, I think it should be pretty similar. Um, I, I kind of sort of know how to read Korean, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, okay? Alrighty, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so I think according to the instructions in Korean, I think it's telling me to cook the noodle in 600 milliliters of water for five minutes. Oh, and it's also telling me to put in the flakes in as well. All right, let's do it. Whoa, oh my gosh, my noodle broke in the packaging. Look, it broke. So first thing we have is the sauce. It is made specifically for jajang because look, it even says jajang bodak. Oh, no, sorry. It says jajang bodak bokkamyeon. So only for this noodle. Next thing we have is the hureiku. This is the flakes. And then, oh my gosh, guys! I don't know if you guys can see it, but my noodle is literally like broken into a million pieces. Oh my gosh. Look, this is all that's left that's in one piece. Oh my gosh. This is what you get for ordering your noodles online. So, I think the water is coming to a boil now. I'm just gonna be putting this in, and then the rest of it. Mm. Oh I'm gonna be adding the flakes now. I'm gonna be dumping the water out, but I'm gonna be leaving eight spoons of water in here. So, I think that's about eight spoons of water. So I'm gonna leave that in there. Now that I have about eight spoons of water in there, I'm gonna be adding this. Whoa, it's really dark. Okay, I'm just gonna cook it for about 30 seconds now. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna transfer it in here now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is like, it looks like jajang milk. Oh, 
all ready. We are done cooking and now we're gonna be eating it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like really like brown rather than red. Um, I don't know if you guys have tried the regular Bulldog Bokumyeon before. That's like totally red. Like all the Bulldog Bokumyeons, they're pretty red. But this one's like really brown like Jajangmyeon. And the consistency is like Jajangmyeon. All right, we're gonna give it a try now. Mm. It's definitely spicy. Oh, but it does taste like jacking man. Mm, it's actually really good, but it's just spicy. Ooh. It's a lot better than chapaghetti, trust me. Chapaghetti tasted like nothing. This one actually has a spicy taste. And it's like, it's kind of salty too, whereas chapaghetti, I don't think it was that salty. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. Ooh. Spicy though. But it's good. I thought I overcooked the noodles, but I guess not. It's like the perfect Dragon Mion consistency. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. I like it so far. Mmm. Spicy though. Ooh. There's definitely a black bean taste in here though. I can definitely taste the black bean. It's really good. Man, did I, how many times have I said really good? But honestly, it's like a lot better than chapaghetti. I got chapaghetti once and I never ate it again. Mm. You know the flakes? I can't even see them anymore. They're like gone. I don't see any of the flakes anymore. I see like one carrot and that's it. Mmm. Spicy though. Not too spicy so far, but it's pretty spicy. <laughs> oh, so spicy. <sighs> okay, I lied. I went and got a Coke instead. Does anybody do this? Like, I continually pour it slowly until I get a cup full. Cheers! Why did I blow into the cup? <sighs> that was good. Okay, I'm almost done, guys. This really surprised me. I didn't think it would be that great. And I honestly thought I would not finish it because it just didn't look that appetizing, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've tried many Boldak Bokumyeon ramen before, and there's the Mala ramen, and there's the curry ramen, and those two I thought would really disappoint me, but turns out they tasted pretty good. Just the Mala ramen though was super spicy, so I really couldn't handle that, but yeah, it didn't really disappoint in terms of taste though. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in the flakes there was carrots, green beans, and onions. Um, like white onions, the big onions, ceboya. <laughs> There's definitely more of a black bean taste in this ramen because it is jajangmyeon. But other than the black bean taste, it's really like got the Bulldak and Bokumyeon characteristics in terms of like spiciness. It's really good though, it's really good. Mm -mm. I'm almost done. I'm 
done. Mm, that was good. That was really good. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this ramen unwrapping making mukbang video. And I really enjoyed eating this ramen. And it really took me by surprise. I originally, originally, I really thought it was just going to be like a spicy ramen. But no, it turns out there was like sweet and salty and... On top of that, there was a spicy taste, and then there was like a black bean taste. It was really good. Yeah, it really took me by surprise, and I highly recommend that you guys give this a try if you guys ever see this in your grocery store. And if you don't, it's always sold on Amazon for a ridiculously expensive price. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys did, please do give it a like, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.